Okay, everybody, so I'm back here at the Vanderkenverse uh, home office lab. Um, I, thanks to Logan and her great unboxing, I just want to show you a couple things. I did do, uh, I ran Nova Bench twice on this. I don't know if you can see, but the bottom one is uh, just on uh, balance performance, and then the top one is on... Um, a high performance battery setting. So you can see it does quite a bit better on the high performance there, um, 3101, which is a great score. You know, it wasn't a couple years ago, I was testing products and we were getting, you know, in the thousands. So the, really performance has improved dramatically. Um, so I've been loving the device, got to play with it quite a bit. And I wanted to show you one thing. So Lenovo is really committed to right to repair. And so a lot of our products used to have sealed batteries and sealed things. So I'm going to show you how to quickly rechange the battery on this, which is not as easy as I expected, but I'm going to walk you through it. So first of all, in order to start, you need to uh, disable the internal battery, which you have to push F1 when it boots. But by just doing shutdown, I wasn't ever able to get it to a full, um, it wasn't able to start into the bio. So I had to do a 10 second hold on the power button to do a hard shut down, which is painful for me because I know Windows really hates being shut down like this. So we're just going to do 10 seconds here to power this off. And then um, we're going to remove the power cord, power it back on, and uh, while it's coming on, push F1. And that's going to bring us into the BIOS here in a second. So we're just pushing F1. See down here, it said push F1 to go into BIOS. Okay, so now we're in BIOS. And then we just have to go to config. Um, uh, I think it was uh, power and then disable built-in battery. So select disable built-in battery. Are you sure? Yes, and it's gonna shut the machine off. Okay, so now the internal battery is disabled. So now we can um, take out the battery. So first of all, it's got this huge warning on there. I don't know why that is, but that's Lenovo's choice. There must've been some reason. There's just a couple screws to remove here. These do not come all the way out. They just loosen. So don't try to get them all out. So I did that. And then this is, so you think it was painful to remove, to take the battery, uh, to turn the power off. This is going to be really painful. So you're supposed to use a rubber tool to get the back started for the life of me. I looked around the house, couldn't find one. So I actually had to use a metal one. You can see it actually scraped it up a little bit there. Hopefully by the time your battery dies, you know, you're a few years into your laptop and you're a little more okay with the scrapes, but you have to get this popped up and going. There's plastic tabs that kind of doesn't, it feels like you're breaking something, but you're not. So you start these plastic tabs. And once you get it started, then you can pop the whole thing off. And you can see there's little um, things here in the front that are gonna grip to take it back on. And then to take the battery out um, is just, uh, three screws, back back to this screwdriver. So this is called a crew part, C-R-U. That means customer replaceable unit. Battery used to be a fru part, which is a field replaceable unit, which has to, used to have to be done by a technician. Now we've done a right to repair. We really wanna make 80% uh, more of our parts um, repairable. So the memory right here, this is a hard drive, the M.2 uh, SSD drive, which you can replace yourself. Uh, you could add memory, you know, modem in here. You can look around to add things. You can't add a modem to a device that doesn't already have a built-in because it won't have the antennas. But then one more thing here. This is a little tricky. This wasn't in the manual, but you, you got to pop out this um, little connector for the battery. Okay, then once you get that done, then it does just kind of pull out. And then you could get a new battery from Lenovo, pop it back in. That's it. So uh, pop this back in. Put this back down, plug the, that back on, screw the battery back together. Here we go, three screws here. Thanks to my camera person for getting this all done right. Then there's these hooks in the front. I'm gonna hook these uh, very carefully on the front here to make sure they're well in all the way, which they are there. Push it down, put all the clips in, got that in. Push this back together like this. Okay, just five screws. Again, this is a now a 
CRU, Customer Replaceable Unit. So if you call Lenovo, they can send you a new battery. Flip it over. The internal battery is disabled because we did that in BIOS. So if you just try to turn it on, you'll think you'll panic. You'd be like, oh no, I didn't do it. So the way you re-enable the internal battery is just plug it in once. So you plug in the power. Now it's activated, the battery's activated again. You can boot your laptop. Let's let it come back up here and uh, just once it's coming up, so here's proof, I'll unplug it. It's so the battery is activated. I re so theoretically, if I had a new battery, I could have just replaced it there and would it take five minutes? So uh, that's it. Uh, thanks to Lenovo. I think it's great that we're doing this right to, rep right to repair activity to prolong the life of our products, um, which are great anyway. So uh, that's it. Thanks everybody for joining. That was a really long video. Thanks for watching to the end. Bye everybody.